observing French traditions, historic district of old Quebec. The St. Lawrence River runs from the Great Lakes of North America into the Atlantic Ocean. The city of Quebec in Canada lies at the river estuary and is an important trading post connecting many inland cities. The town grew up at the beginning of the 17th century. It attracted increasing numbers of French settlers and its main trade was beaver fur. This is the Place Royale. It's the historic center of the town of Quebec. Rue de Petit Champlain reflects the old atmosphere of the town. It's one of the oldest shopping streets in North America. Most shops are located at street level, with residential apartments above them. Bonjour. French is the local language. The town of Quebec has two distinct parts. The shopping district grew up in the downtown area. The uptown area is surrounded by a fortress wall. This is known as the Citadel. The Citadel was built by the British Army when they took over the part of Canada, at that time under French rule. Oh, the changing of the guards takes place here just like it does in front of the British Queen's London residence, Buckingham Palace. In the mid-18th century, France declared war against England over colonial territory in Northern America. France eventually lost the war and also their land. Canada became an entirely British colony. A strong reminder of the war remains in the city of Quebec, a cannonball launched by the British Army. And the people of Quebec have kept their French traditions and language despite the years of British rule. French culture and language are deeply rooted in people's lives here. And the people of Quebec's acute sense of cultural heritage is illustrated, amongst other things, on their cars, whose number plates read, I remember, in French. It's an expression of cultural tenacity, saying that the Quebecois will observe French traditions with pride, no matter who controls their region or their country.